It is the final night of the minor league baseball season and under the bright lights of Las Vegas, Nevada, the AAA campaign has reached its biggest stage. Tonight, just a short jaunt from the strip, it is time to crown a champion as the Omaha Storm Chasers, AAA affiliates of the Kansas City Royals square off with the Sugarland Space Cowboys, AAA affiliates of the Houston Astros in tonight's AAA National Championship game. And Gordon's interesting, you know, he had Tommy John surgery two months before the 2021 draft. The Astros still drafted him in the eighth round, made his pro debut in 2022, which was that year that they won the AFL title. And he's super interesting. He's the same guy I saw two years ago in the fall league, Tyler. He does not throw very hard. He throws about 90, 92 usually with the fastball. But that's his best pitch. It's, he's, you can see a little bit here. He's got a low release height, a wide angle. John Rave, his overall numbers this season, there you see that 816 OPS. One of the leaders on this squad in games played. He was in this lineup for 131 games this year, the Illinois State product. 2-2 two -two pitch. Bounced out to second where Tommy Sacco, the former TCU Horn Frog, will fling it over for out number one as John Rave is retired. Nate Eaton hit the game-tying home run against Columbus in game two that really rescued this Omaha team. They lost the opening game as a bouncer out past the dive of Jesus Bastidas and on into center field and the first hit of this game belongs to Nate Eaton. And you know, he makes a lot of contact. He doesn't try to do too much at the plate, Tyler. Look at this swing here. Ball starts to sink a little bit in the strike zone. He just stays on it. In the air to center and right on cue, Pedro Leon. Jim talked about how much ground he covers in center, and he gobbles that one up for the second out of the inning. He made that look pretty easy. He got a good jump on that ball, and then I think that slide was more of a in case it comes out. You know, in case it got, in case he didn't catch it, he would knock it down. He didn't really need to. Be. He made that play look pretty easy. It's 4:15 to dead center, 3:80 to the alleyway in right center, and doing it himself. Colton Gordon will hustle that one to first for the final out of the inning, and that'll do it for Omaha. On the mound, they've, they've gone to Linder Avila, and like we talked about in the open, it's only his second start at the AAA level. He had a very successful season in AA, came up Saturday, as Mike Jersley told us, the manager for Omaha. Jesus Bastidas, who is the starting shortstop tonight for Sugarland. How about these numbers out of the leadoff spot for this shortstop tonight? 25 homers, 89 driven in, and again, right on cue, Bounces one back through the middle for a leadoff single. He's been a workhorse the last couple of seasons. His first couple seasons in the stateside operations of the Kansas City Royals as that one gets in over the dive of Cam Devaney out in shallow center. So it's back-to-back -back singles to get things rolling for Sugarland. Dangerous bat at the plate right now for Sugarland. Jay Wickham is the 14th ranked Astros prospect. He flares this one to shallow center, and that's going to get down in front of Drew Waters. Three straight knocks, and now Waters bobbling it, but able to keep it close enough as the bases are loaded out of the gate for Trey Cabbage from the cleanup spot. And the 0-1 is smoked to right field, starting in and out, backpedaling a reaching out catch for Tyler Gentry. It'll turn into a sacrifice fly for Trey Cabbage, and Sugarland is onto the board with a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first. On the way, and a swing and a miss as he elevates at 95 again. Second and third with nobody out here in the bottom of the second inning as Omar Narvaez, the veteran, out of the nine spot. Trying to capture a first ever AAA National Championship and another run, maybe two, on the board to help in that cause as Hamilton scores from third. Matthews hot on his heels and Omar Narvaez, a veteran out of the nine spot, comes through. And that's some of the depth that you talk about. Omar Narvaez just signed to this organization in June and provides, I mean, so much as a veteran catcher being part of this lineup, part of this club. Yeah, we started in 2020 when COVID hit. The interviews really didn't start until two and a half years ago. There's a drive to right center, and this ball is going to get out of here as it Ooh. sneaks over cool the shot. pool. Oh. Out in right center, and a one-out home run kicks things off here in the top half of the third as Omaha's on the board with Cam Devaney leaving the yard. Figures we get the bad boys in the room, and then all of a sudden somebody leaves the yard. First and second. Second. Now the Storm Chasers threaten and some dangerous bats coming up. This ball's come on, ball. center and still get out. And it's yeah. In the pool, splashed down in the pool. Oh, Landed in the pool. A right. go ahead shot for Brian O'Keefe. That's what he's been doing. He hit, he hit two homers in the three game International League finals, including the go ahead home run in the clincher. And now he has to go ahead home run here in the Triple National Championship. Jim called it a moment ago that this game was far from over, and it has been turned on its head in a hurry. And that'll bring up the Astros' best prospect in the game, Bryce Matthews. Matthews lost this one out at oh, the left and carried. tracking back. Rave is not able to make the catch. It hits off the glove, and everybody's safe. 
there is something going on with how the wind is swirling in the outfield because we have seen everybody struggle, and not just in left. We've had a number of balls hit right at outfielders. You know, that makes it tough to judge exactly where it's going. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be a big league regular at this point of his career. Bases a little walk, we're tied again. He's not going to be a big league regular at this point of his career, but he could be a backup in the big leagues, especially catching his position where you have a lot of injuries. Two gone here in the inning. That brings up Pedro Leon, the center fielder, who doubled in his last trip to the plate. Sarantola deals, and ball four, the second bases loaded walk of the inning, and that puts Sugarland back in front. It's a 5-4 game now with the Space Cowboys taking the lead. Whitcomb singled and stole second back in the first inning. Struck out as the first man to face Austin Cox in the second and rips one down into left center field. Maybe extra bases as it scoots by John Raven. It's all the way to the wall. This will clear the bases as the birthday boy comes through with a three-run double to give Sugarland some cushion in the bottom of the third. Fastball there, stayed right on it. 97 miles an hour, and no problem pulling that into the gap. Three-run double. 8-4 lead for the Sugarland Space Cowboys who have led trailed and now lead again is another fly ball well struck in the air to right center and this one keeps oh, carrying no and that's gone Jeez. we're talking about the launch pad we didn't even get a chance to fully introduce dan sarmiento as cooper hummel leaves the yard a 440 foot solo homer and sugarland adds on with another one to get things rolling here in the fourth seven for nine in the pcl finals struck out his first two times up and i guess he got back to that playoff magic and a chance now for Bryce Matthews there's another oh, no, shot no, no. this one's carrying the center field and Drew Waters will watch that sail out as well Bryce Matthews, Matthews leaves the yard the second home run of the inning for Sugarland and it is a 10-4 lead for the Space Cowboys here in the fourth man oh man we knew it was a launching pad and Vegas has not disappointed tonight as Bryce Matthews with his First triple-A home run, Sugarland continues to add on. Even though Sugarland's up by six, they're going to need their bullpen to do what it's done all season and keep this going. A shot in the air to left. Here's <laughs> Brian O'Keefe, a three-run homer, his last time up, and he leaves the yard again. A two-home run night for Brian O'Keefe, his 19th and 20th of the season. And Omaha clawing back, now trails it 10-6. to six. You know, we were getting ready to show his three-run homer from the third inning as a replay, and he instead gives us a live shot of another one. First two-on here for Cooper Hummel, who homered his last trip to the plate. So I'm doing the quick math here, Tyler. I think that's 32 batters already for Sugarland, with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth, and 20 of them have reached base. That ball smoked to center field. <laughs> Waters got a good jump on it. And at the warning track, he's going to have to play it off the wall. Rounding third base, here comes Whitcomb getting the wheel. He will score into third is Cabbage. It's another RBI double this time for Cooper Hummel. And Sugarland tacks on one more. Now a five-run lead at 11-6. One for three, single and a run scored. And he shoots this one through the left side for a base hit. Cabbage scores. Hummel is held at third. And now a 12-6 lead for Sugarland. Parent clubs of each of these teams headed on to the postseason and the league that has gotten itself sorted as a bouncing ball will bring in a run. Cooper Hummel scores. Quincy Hamilton bounces out productively and another one in for Sugarland. A 13-6 lead for Sugarland and a new arm into the game for the Space Cowboys as we go to the seventh. And it is a former top prospect in the Astros organization, the big right-hander, Forrest Whitley. 6'7", 215 as he blows See, that you. one by two waters. Man, oh man, his 2-2 pitch swung on and missed as Whitman blows it by. Nelson Velasquez at 98 for his second strikeout of the inning. So with two gone, O'Keefe over at first and a ground ball that way is stopped on the slide by Tommy Sacco and a nice play for the final out of the seventh inning. They are loaded up now for Nate Eaton. Walk, strikeout, single walk in this inning. Eaton has singled twice tonight. He is two for four. No two pitches, swung on and missed. Three straight off-speed pitches that fool Nate Eaton for out number two. The two gone now for Drew Waters. Still in search of his first hit of the night. Waters on the ground over the glove of Contreras and a bounce out that will end the inning. Suero has converted 30 straight 
dating back to May 30th, and it'll probably end that way because this is not a safe situation as he enters with a big-time lead. But Water Suero goes to work against the middle third of the Omaha Storm Chasers order, and the first pitch skied by Brian O'Keefe into the waiting glove of Cooper Hummel, and the Sugarland Space Cowboys are two outs away. A ball and two strikes here on Nelson Velasquez. And a swing and a miss for out number two. Omaha down to its final out as the Space Cowboys look to celebrate. Right-hander is ready from the third base side of the rubber, deals the 0-2, and a fly ball into very shallow right. It's a long run in for Hamilton, and he's there to put it away. And the Sugarland Space Cowboys in their first PCL championship year have their first Triple A national championship. What a showing tonight by this Sugarland offense. The final line for the Space Cowboys in this one 13 runs on 13 hits as it was just too much. Put all 13 runs on the board in the first five innings at the plate. And Jim, just an efficient performance offensively throughout the night for Sugarland. Didn't do a lot the last few innings because they didn't need to. And an impressive year that comes to a close, pacing minor league baseball all season long in wins and fitting for Sugarland to finish it off with the last one of the year. And literally everybody contributed to this win tonight, Tyler. All nine guys in the lineup scored a run. Eight of them had hits, eight of them had an RBI. Colton Gordon had two really good innings to start the game before he ran trouble in the third. Then they go to six relievers who give up two runs the rest of the way. I mean, so they used, doing the quick math here in my head, that 16 players tonight. Each one of them can say, hey, I contributed something to this win. 